And that should help you. Come. <laughs> Sorry. Shut up. What's a snake? A snake? <laughs> Hey guys, it's Liam and today I'm going to be reacting to Bridgerton episode 3. Last episode, it definitely told us how not to parent a child because as we all saw- oh my god. <coughs> I swear it's not corona, it's just a stuffy throat. Stuffy throat? I don't know. We all saw Simon's dad being an absolute dick because he basically just disowned his child which isn't really the best thing to do you know so far in the last two episodes we've definitely seen a little bit more of like character development for each character like we've learned a little bit more about each character and stuff i'm really starting to like eloise i feel like eloise is definitely ahead of her time she basically just doesn't want to be there the luxury life she lives she doesn't want to do women back then were basically born and raised to marry at some point so which is really unfair it was not really the best time to live in is it before i start this video make sure you subscribe if you want to see more videos like this all my social media links will be in the description below if you want to follow me in any of those Oh, I said that really fast. Like I said before, I'm going to be uploading reaction to Bridgerton every two to four days I aim for three and it's been three so far. So probably three. I'm really sad because like This is the last video where it's gonna be Christmas decorations up because in two days time It's gonna be the 5th of January socially. You're supposed to put down the Christmas decorations I mean if I could I would and to be honest I can but I don't know I feel like it's a bit embarrassing oh so sad anyway so last episode like i said before we met simon's dad we had lots of flashbacks which <laughs> i yes i got confused over massively um but it's all good now i know what's happening it's all good like i said it takes like three episodes to realize what's like what's going on so we saw flashbacks to simon's birth where sadly his mum died his dad disowned him and said like the worst things to him like what you could t tell your child basically but he died in the end oh and he was like speak speak and like the tables turned because he was like telling him that when he was a child so what goes around and comes around nigel left because he had a secret child in the countryside somewhere um after everyone found out which is great but i feel like he's gonna be back he might not be but he could be you know anthony's still really weirdly protective over his sister Daphne and it's really annoying but to be fair he did change that around when he basically said like to Nigel don't come near my sister again and blah 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 so that's good of him but um I feel like I don't know I feel like the whole weirdly protective obsessive side of him is not over but who knows I have heard that from now on it gets a little bit more raunchy <laughs> oh it's really annoying because my mum's been watching it because she was like oh so do you recommend the show then I was like oh yeah but you know it's a bit of like a raunchy Downton Abbey and I was like oh I don't know if it's your thing or not and then I start hearing the names downstairs and I'm like hold on so every time she's luckily she's watched it in like two days but every time I went downstairs, I literally had to like hold my ears because she was obviously like episodes ahead of me. So I was like, I can't watch this or listen to it. But it's fine. I didn't see any spoilers or anything. Right. Bridgerton series one, episode three, Art of the Swoon. Swoon. <laughs> I don't know why I find swoon funny. Ooh, this is fancy. This looks so cool. But it's kind of creepy though with all the mist and stuff though. Imagine going to one of these things now though. That'd be so cute. Oh, it's just them now. The way he looks at her, it's just like, brings you in, you know? <laughs> I'm guessing this is, isn't real though. Yeah, it's all the dream. So I got that bit right. I'm actually so jealous of their big bedrooms. Rejected not one, not two, but three proposals already this week. Imagine being proposed to that much. Like, that'd be so annoying though. I mean, flattering, but you know. Still waiting on the only suitor of note. I mean, that's very suggestive. <laughs> Imagine the director just saying like, right, now really lick a spoon, but sexually. And he's just like, oh. like, I mean, I can't, but you know. <laughs> oh, Penelope. Oh, I love her so much. For people asking, I meant Penelope, the actress who plays Penelope is 33 in real life. Somehow, I don't know how. Oh, it's a letter for her. You know, I said, oh, the father could be the Featherington dad, but I don't think so anymore. It'd be a great storyline because it would just stir things up, you know, but I don't think it is, which is sad. But I mean, it's not sad, but you know what I mean? I don't know if we'll actually meet the father of the child, though. We might, but I'm not really 100% sure. Better to arrive from Spain. So George is with the front line. Oh, he's it in must the be war. terribly difficult to get letters in and oh, out. You must be patient. That's not fun. Penelope 
Featherington, what did I tell you about cavorting with the expectant? Oh my god, I actually hate her mum, she's such a bitch. With the expectants. And you shall do it as soon as possible. It'd be fitted for a new wardrobe. It's about time you dress in the family colours anyway. The family colours, so just a lot of bright colours. <laughs> Daphne, have you thought about with whom you would like so to dance? so different. Let's look at the colour difference between the Featherington's house and the Bridgeton house. Featherington, all bright, the dresses, the walls, everything. And you go to like the Bridgeton house, they're all kind of wearing like pastel, blue, whites, blacks, you know? And then just the same with the walls and everything as well. Like it definitely shows like the difference between them, which I like. What about the Duke? The Duke has not prepared us, Mama. I'm still considering my best course. Wise girl. And Lord Hardy is a... Can't they just, like, be boyfriend and girlfriend? Like, is that just not a thing? Why does it have to be straight... Like, go straight to marriage? Like, I know it's, like, a sign of the time. Just start to cry. Oh, my God, this is bad, guy. Stop. <laughs> Oh my god, they're actually playing bad guys. Someone in the comments said this was happening, but like, I actually love it. I love the use of like modern songs in the Bridgency era. It's great. Like, do me the honor of a dance tonight. Duh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hastings' beard looks good. It's just the sideburns of the other, on the other guys. I just don't like it. <laughs> on me, at least, you know. Where do you see yourself settling? Another excellent question. I mean, he seems nice, to be honest. I've acquired two more since. I keep them at my ancestral home. Whoa, my ancestral home is much large, much large. After I marry, in fact, my mother will reside with me and my new bride. He sounds a bit like Colin Firth, I love him. I like the first guy, the other two guys at the moment are just a bit weird. I felt more chemistry when being fitted at the Modiste. Oh my god, the hair. Whoa, that is Big. I kind of love it though. If you want to be extra and stand out, that's the way to do it. They do not even know him. They do not need to know him. And besides the fact he's a prince. Oh, he looks like a prince in the Disney movie. <laughs> I'll watch as Miss Cal below as her eyes. Mm. Oh, so demure. She's so extra. I'd have a fan. Why don't I have a fan? And is much too timid to ever meet his royal highness's piercing gaze, of course. <laughs> Why is this kind of like that scene in Titanic? Do you know when Jack goes down into like the first class restaurant for the first time and he's walking with Rose and Rose is like, that's the Countess and she designs Nardi lingerie. It kind of seems like that. So lovely to meet you, Miss Bridgerton. Your gown, it is exquisite. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why does she start like snort laughing? See, at least she's like actually enjoying herself, not just becoming this like model woman, you know? Bonsoir, thank you. Bonsoir. Oh, I wish I knew French. Who is it? Who's that? <gasps> Bloody Elsie. You scared me of my wits. What are you so back at? Bloody Elsie. The most notorious opera singer Wait, in all of London. Wait, what? Oh, but third on that. Oh, it's her. Oh, the one that who was with Anthony. Ah, I see. Love how, <laughs> love how the other girl's accent just goes from French to like, Bloody hell. This is beautiful work. For Lady Cowper's girl. Not that it will help her get an offer. Not even my finest silks will compensate for that sneer. The dresses back then were so nice though. Just like the fabric and the way they were made and stuff like everything was like handmade and like fitted to the person. Sensible gentleman to keep me in high fashion. One who will never break his word. Or run home every time his mother or sisters have need. <laughs> I mean true, she needs a man that she can actually rely on because Anthony is not that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, I'm inclined to Oh my god, he actually the speaks. The Featherington dad actually speaks. Excuse me. Oh my god, he's not gonna stop being protective of her, is he? Oh wait. Oh wait, no, he's not going to her. Ponder my plans for after my performance. Ooh. Might I entice you to take in one of my performances sometime soon? Performances. Well, 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 well. Honestly saying, that's literally me when I can't sleep. I end up like turning the pillow, turning the duvet. It just doesn't work. I thought a bit of warm milk might help matters. Shall I ring for a servant? No. A bit of warm milk? No, do not wake them. Would you like to join me? A bit of sibling bonding. We should light it. Excellent idea. Oh my god, they don't know how to. Well, go on. Oh me? my god. So this is what happens when you get every single thing in your life done for you. You get to however they old and then you're just like, hmm, how do I have warm milk? He is your closest friend. Surely you must 
know things. The things I know are certainly not for your ears. Basically, he likes to get about. 20 years I've known him. He's not mentioned his so-called family even once. His childhood was so sad. You must simply know some people are not meant to be together, no matter whom. How much we might wish otherwise. I see. But she's thinking like, hmm, not me though. Thank you, brother. Does the milk? milk look really weird? I mean, it could so just we'll be like the lighting, but... A little bit of sibling bonding. Cute. I don't know, I feel like you could change. Mon dieu! Perhaps they took your measurements wrong. Miss Thompson has a fondness for cake. A reducing diet will work wonders for her, I'm sure. That's so bad, though. Using a corset while you're pregnant. Oh my god. And a certain oh god. language tutor has been seen visiting Cowper House all huh. week. Huh. She's such like a Regina George, you know. Or um, from Wild Child's Harriet. Like all of these paintings, it was done by a man who sees a woman as nothing other than a decorative object. They're like human vases. See, she's ahead of her time. I love it. Miss Marina Thompson, a distant cousin of my husband's. Miss Thompson, the pleasure is mine. Entirely. Oh, is her mu is the mum trying to like wed her off to some middle-aged man? What is it with that? Certainly was not addressing you. Oof. Oh. Oof. That's so funny though. I love it. Mr. Granville, why was your piece not skied? Skied? Do they mean like sold or? Ooh, uh... Seems the art is not the only beautiful thing on display at present. <laughs> Ooh, Are you enjoying your time here? Harriet is angry. I believe there is a gaggle of young ladies waiting for your favour. Delightful Aww. to see you. She's so sweet though. We have her utterly convinced that we are mad for each other. We are awfully clever. Or they're actually madly in love with each other. Pride is a sin, your grace. One of the lesser sins, but do not worry. Oh, I can't do his voice, it's so like, yes, but don't worry. Like, oh, oh. You know, very like, oh. <laughs> I have not yet spoken to a soul. I look outside the window and it is serene. The close-up shots of their face are great. This one is intimate. Oh, he's realising. He's realising. Oh my god! Are they actually going to hold hands or are they going to get interrupted? Oh my god, they're actually holding hands. I'm saying this like it's like such a big thing. Yeah. Oh well, this is the first like physical contact they've had. What? Oh my god! Stop! Stop! She's just such a tryhard. You'll literally faint in front of someone just to like. <laughs> it was such like a, uh, you know. But if this gossip sheet is correct, then her heart is already spoken for. Her heart is no matter, as long as her hand remains free. Ooh. You are a prince. So she basically just saying, doesn't matter if she's already been wooed. She's not married yet, so why does it matter? You say that as if reading were a bad thing. No, I meant no such thing. But it will not gain me a husband. Is that what you meant then? <sighs> Louise. You wish to follow your heart, and I wish to nurture my mind. Yes, we love it. That's why Penelope and Eloise's friendship is so cute, because like they just want to like learn, and they both have the same like forward-thinking ways, you know? Where is this? See, it really shows like the different uh, rats. Stop! I literally hate them. It really shows like the different sides of like living. Like they're really high and then they're really low. I wanted you to see your future firsthand. Should you refuse oh. to follow my instructions? She's actually such a bitch. I have written to him beautiful love letter. And has he written back to you? Ever since informing him. What if she's actually dead though? Oh, I literally just don't like her though. Brings her to a poor neighbour who's like, this is your future if I don't marry you off to a 45 year old man. There are other things. Physical. Or perhaps Ooh. intangible. That bring a couple together. Is she only just realising? She does not know the ways. No, I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing at the absurdity of how little mothers tell their daughters. No, literally though, they tell them nothing about anything that happens. When you touch yourself. Oh. When you are alone, you can touch yourself. Oh my god. She's like fully like shocked. But especially between your legs. <laughs> and that should help you. Come. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. The way, oh no, I shall help you. And then he said, yeah, I'm just not gonna say it, but you know, you know, you know. God, ballsy though, <laughs> literally. But she doesn't really know what's happening though. Simply because she is too wrapped up in your charms. 
Well then, she is. and I would never forgive you your carelessness. The thing is, is he leading her on? Because, like, he doesn't want to get married, so at the moment, he's kind of just leading her on, you know? Whistledown is a woman. Therefore, she has nothing. And still, she writes. You're a man, therefore oh. you have everything. You are able to do whatever you want. She's, oh, I actually love Eloise. She needs like an episode on her. She's the opposite of the Featherington's mum. Are you Lady Whistledown? <laughs> you're an accomplished writer. We're scribbling in that diary of yours and you certainly know everyone else's business. Imagine if she is Lady Whistledown. She's not, but imagine. Wait, are we actually gonna get a... Oh, ah. Well, this is, uh... <laughs> Stop. Stop. It's the play on words. It's the play on words. Well, perhaps the two of us... I shall not be joining you today, Miss Bridgerton. Oh, pied off. Not tomorrow. No any longer for that matter. What are you doing? To prove our ruse should hereby need to end. Oh, that so he fully pied her off. I thought you and I were friends. We were never friends. You were a convenience. A diversion. A pretty one at that, but nothing more. What a little savage. You're a pretty diversion. Okay, she's actually a really good singer. That's so sad though, because like, no one's actually listening to her. Oh, that's actually so sad. No one's actually listening to her. Oh wait, they are now. I wish I could do that with my voice like that. Like the, you know, there's an A for it, but I can't remember what it is. Oh, she was thinking about Anthony though, during that performance. To know that you are only here because you are jealous. I'm not here because I'm jealous. Goodbye, my lord. I'm here because jealous. I miss you. Oh my god. Sienna. Come back to Sienna, me. that's her name. Oh, oh. Position in life remains unchanged. And yes. so too does mine. She didn't give in you to him. You are the Viscount. I cannot be your fool again. Oh, I actually feel so bad for her, but good on her for like not giving in to him though. Oh my god, it's George. Is he dead though? Is it gonna be he's gonna be alive or dead? He pretends there was nothing between us. <gasps> How do you mean? My situation. Oh my god. That he had no part in it. What do you mean he had no part in it? He's the father of the child. Oh, I thought he was going to be dead. Not pyre off, Jesus. It would seem our efforts were not in vain. <gasps> Shut up. Oh my god. Shut up. What oh, is quite a exactly. snake. A snake. I like hate them, honestly. The thing is, they think they know what they're doing, but they really don't. We all know my darling might have the fortune. But it is your Daphne who has the face. She basically is just saying that, like, the other woman's daughter is more attractive than her own. God, these people are savage. So many balls. I thought, like, why? It rolls right off the tongue, does it not? Yeah, but he doesn't want her, does he? Miss Thompson, how lovely to see you back with us. Might I have your next dance? I'd be delighted, my lord. Oh, I feel so bad for her because, like, now she thinks that, like, George doesn't want her, so she's now open to, like, getting married. Exceptionally. Oh, oh my god, it's like a wedding dress. And everyone looks at her. Imagine. <laughs> That's so funny. She's just like, what about me? It'll be interesting to see if, like, he changes his ways, you know? I mean, we obviously know that, like, he's not gonna leave. But, you know, how soon will Simon go, hmm, actually, I want her. Wow. To be fair, I actually quite like the prince. He seems decent. The queen is just so happy right now. They're all loving this Why right now. Why settle for a duke when one can have a, a prince? prince. Okay. Why settle for a duke when one can have a prince? Oh, it's the end. Oh, that's so sad. I thoroughly enjoyed that episode. One must promenade now to get his daily exercise outside. No, it's fine. I'll do that afterwards. Um, <laughs> anyway, I really enjoyed that episode. Daphne learnt a few things, you could say. I've learnt to not like Mrs. Featherington, though. What's the name? What's her name? Because now, Marina thinks that her lover george doesn't care about her 
and now she's open to like getting married to someone else. I mean, we don't know that, but it seemed like it of how happy she was to dance with someone else. It's so sad that like Simon had to like pie her off because he realized that he doesn't want to marry her and he doesn't want to like lead her on, which he thinks he's doing the right thing. But what he really wants is her. I mean, you, you can't always have what you want. Like wanting her and marriage go into the same thing, but he only wants one of them. So now she's now gone with the prince, which, oh, he walked out. He's jealous. He's jealous. I think the prince will only be in it maybe for maybe next episode and maybe the episode after. I don't think he'll like. I don't think she'll stay with him for long. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see the rest of the series. All my social media links are in the description below if you want to follow me in any of those. And I will see you in the next video. I need to promenade now. Genuinely though, I feel like I've done any exercise. <laughs>